Hey everybody, uh, today on the first 10 minutes we're going to look at uh, one of my favorite champs, Nidalee, and we're going to look at her dueling potential, and so let's get into it. Hey everybody, so here I am, uh, I'm playing Nidalee Mid. And uh, Midley is actually who I'm playing mid most of the time, uh, and uh, we'll see why later. Um, obviously, people love throwing her spears, but I, I watched some high-level players play, and they did really, really impressive dueling on Midley uh, that I can't quite live up to, uh, but uh, we'll see where the potential is at. So it's actually been a pretty good day of playing mid. Actually, it's been an up and down day, but it's been a good day of actually getting to play mid uh, because I just. Tell people I like to play mid, and I've had quite a few games where people let me. Um, I did have a, a hard lesson um, the previous game where I thought I would counter pick, and I played Malzahar, who I like playing Malzahar, uh, and uh, I just completely misplayed him. I, I don't I haven't played in a few days, and I haven't played him uh, much, so I'm a little my game's a little off today anyway, uh, and it was just a complete disaster. Uh, but it was a disaster in all the lanes. All right, so I'm actually laying against Kale, um, and uh, Middley is known for being having a really tough time uh, pushing uh, until she gets to level six and she can turn into a cougar. Uh, and on top of that, my last hitting was just abysmal, and Kale was good at dodging my spears, and I was bad at aiming them. So uh, Kale pretty much worked me, as you can see down in the corner. Uh, the main map, Lee Sin, has been, he countered jungles like a beast there, Lee Sin, so he comes by here for a gank. And uh, he actually works me pretty hard. So, but hey, barrier, hurrah. Try to bait him to stand on the tower, he doesn't want to stick around. I figured he'd be coming back. And I even tried to throw one more spear, but I uh, didn't hit him. Wouldn't matter anyway, I wouldn't have killed him. But anyway, so Kale is just, um, it doesn't show yet. She's uh, got six uh, CS to my four, uh, but uh, she just starts working me in CS. I think I end this game with like, oh, excuse me, I end this first 10 minutes uh, with like uh, just 25 CS. I mean, something really, really bad. So she was doing really well. Um, and uh, But we actually had a good game. And coming up here uh, is the first bit of interest. There's some action going on top. Uh, Shivana pushes people out of lane, uh, and then Shivana actually uh, roams down the river for a gank. And so here she comes. So I actually uh, don't really notice her until she comes right up to the brush because she didn't let me know she was coming. Lee sends around. Uh, he stepped on one of my traps, so I see him. And let's see if we can actually get Kale. All right. So Shivana's level four. And Italy is level five. I, that's me. I'm level five. Uh, Kale uh, is not six yet. Kale's level five, so Kale does not have her alt, so she cannot make herself invulnerable. Uh, she's about, I don't know, maybe about sixty percent of her hit points. Uh, she's at five eighty four of nine forty five. Um, and so what we have here is, I'm figuring if I get in two auto attacks, now I can't turn into a cougar either, so I only have my uh, javelin, uh, my human Italy abilities. Um, so I get in two auto attacks. The javelin toss is something that actually increases the longer it travels, uh, but um, Kale's pretty close to me, so let's assume that I hit her once at point blank range, um, and then hopefully hit her at maybe half range for 275. And if I, you know, if the situation occurred where I could, she could be at the max range, uh, then I would actually do a boatload of damage with uh, the javelin. Um, but she's also been pretty good at dodging those, so she probably wouldn't have hit there with that anyway. Uh, in addition, uh, potentially I could do Bushwhack. I don't actually have enough mana for Bushwhack. Uh, I didn't think to use it. Uh, but Bushwhack, I put down a trap, and if she stays in the same place and she triggers it, she takes 91 damage uh, over a few seconds. In addition, her uh, she gets reduced uh, armor and magic resist uh, by quite a bit, actually. Uh, Shivana... Uh, her thing is, she has really strong auto attacks. She's basically an auto attack champion. So let's say she gets into auto attacks. Uh, Burnout is basically a fire that surrounds her, and if she keeps her target in range of that, they take damage. They take almost 120 points of damage, of magic damage. Let's say 
she's able to do that. Uh, twin Bite basically adds a little attack onto an auto attack, uh, which if she can hit an auto attack, she can hit that. So let's say she has that. She has no mana. She's all just cooldowns. She's been waiting in the brush, so all of these are ready. Uh, if she hits her with Flame Breath, uh, she'll do 60 magic damage. And in addition, uh, any auto attack she does while uh, Flame Breath is active uh, will do 2% of Kale's max health, which in this case is about 20. Uh, so let's just say she gets one of those. So in this case, um, if we did all of these, uh, we would easily kill her. Uh, we could miss... Uh, a few of them actually and kill her still like we could probably miss two but I mean we do have to hit them all uh, so let's see what happens all right, at least it's up to my trap Shivana's coming in the brush uh, and uh, I see her oh, there she finally tells me she's coming and uh, here we go and I'm doing what? <laughs> I'm just walking. I was, I, my game has been so off that I just assumed, uh, you know, when your game is really off, you just assume people are going to do things. So I assumed Kale would start running. And so I actually ran faster instead of auto attacking her. So uh, Shivana does get in her rotation of spells. And so she didn't get all of her um, uh, auto attacks. I did get in a nice spear. But if I had gotten a spear and like two auto attacks uh, and then that spear, uh, then we would have we would have gotten there. Um, and uh, I did survive uh, that incredibly horrible uh, gank on my part. And um, thankfully, Kha'Zix was here to say, oh, let me show you how this is done. So he kills Lee Sin and then he kills Kale. <laughs> So it was not. It was not a. It wasn't a loss. Uh, we did still. Um, we did still get them because we got them low enough. But it was like, what a, what an incredibly uh, noob gank on uh, our part. And so most of this game continues with uh, Kale just really causing me problems. I basically go back to buy before she comes back because I, even though I want to get level six. Uh, I did not want to be low health and low mana when she returned with whatever item she was going to buy. And we basically see, she basically spends this 10 minutes just completely bullying me. Uh, and uh, like I said, I, I really wasn't very good at landing the spears. Uh, but we do have a little bit of action that comes in here. I do get my cat finally so I can clear waves. But even then I was a little bit timid of clearing waves because I didn't want to get close to her. Um, that spear was actually aimed for that minion, so that's how like off uh, my aim was this game. Um, there's a nice spear though, uh, but Kaiser's going to come down here, and we're going to see uh, the goodness of Nidalee. Um, I don't quite live up to the goodness I should be, uh, but we'll see how really, really amazing it can be uh, when we look at the math. So Kaiser comes in, and he basically Kale uses her ultimate. Deflects the spear, uh, and then uh, we're like, well, fine. That's no fun. Be that way. And we back off. And then Kha'Zix takes off, but I get a little bit feisty. And so Kale is really, she's like three quarters health. And uh, and I'm like, you know what? I think I want to fight you. So the question is, could I really fight her? Let's find out. So here is here's the thing, and that this is um, what I've actually seen in the high level players uh, do. So Nidalee, or excuse me, Kale, we're both level seven. Uh, Kale's uses her alt, so she doesn't have her alt, uh, but she's got 770 health uh, and uh, about uh, 1100 max health. Now, as a cougar, uh, Nidalee's spells when she's a human all take mana, but her uh, cougar stuff are all just cooldowns. Um, so the way that these duels open up with Nidalee, when you see them, is that they basically start with casting the spells, turn into the cougar, and then just fighting the rest of the fight as a cougar, right? And then maybe popping back into human form to heal yourself uh, at the very end, or if there's a runner, pop back in human form and throw a spear to try to throw a javelin and try to get them. So whether Nidalee is a human or a cougar, she does 74 uh, physical damage with her auto attacks. 
Um, now, the thing is, uh, her takedown, so her Q as a human is the javelin toss, and as a cougar is called takedown, and they both scale. Um, javelin toss does more damage the more distance the javelin flies. Uh, takedown does more damage the lower their health. So it's kind of like an execute, but because uh, it kind of scales off a flat number as opposed to, say, doing percent health damage, like Lee Sin's Q, uh, it's not a genuine execute. But it does mean the lower they get in health, uh, the more damage that they'll do, that you'll do to them. Yeah, but it has about a 10-second cooldown, so you're going to get one in. Um, pounce, uh, you jump, jump forward, kind of do a little damage to them. Um, that has a pretty short cooldown. It's a three-second cooldown, so you often get in a few of those in a fight. It takes a little practice to uh, to aim them. Uh, and then swipe is that you hit things in front of you. So as long as you're auto-attacking someone, they will be within your swipe. Um, and you can see uh, the first level swipe actually does quite a bit of damage. And uh, the first level pounce does pretty good damage as well. So in this scenario, uh, basically say, okay, let's say I'm going to get in two auto-attacks. Now, fighting as a cougar, I'll probably get in more. But let's say we get in two. Uh, I'm right up in her grill, so point blank range. Um, let's not have a bushwhack. Point blank range javelin, so it's going to do its minimum damage, but it's a 204. Uh, and then, rather than get too clever, I will say she's going to be about max health when I do the takedown on her. Um, so I could actually get maybe about 80 or 100 more damage if I wait till the last moment to, to do it, which is what you should probably do. But let's say I don't. So I get her about half health. So I get her for 228. Uh, and then I do a pounce. I do two pounces during the fight, and I do a swipe. Uh, that's enough. I mean, Kale is not that hurt. I mean, she's basically like 70% health. Um, and that that if I can do that combo, now obviously that's a pretty elaborate combo, uh, but if you can do that combo, uh, that'll actually kill her. Uh, in addition... Let's say that I actually got a bushwhack in. Now, a bushwhack only does a little bit more damage. So this is me throwing the trap underneath her as I come in, and then I turn into a cougar. Um, in addition, I could heal myself for attack speed bonuses uh, to, do, to do actually even more auto attacks in the middle of the fight. But, um, but let's say I throw down bushwhack. Now, it only does 91 damage, but it actually reduces her armor and magic resist by 20%, which is really huge. So if I actually put that in, um, I mean, you you can almost completely take her from full health down to zero. In fact, if you just imagine, well, the fight lasts a little longer, um, uh, you probably have to do one more, you know, but like if the fight lasts just a little bit for like, say, enough for five auto attacks, um, you know, say I have the move speed, then basically I could, over the course of maybe... Uh, this fight would this would probably be a fight that takes place over the course of like eight seconds. Over the course of eight seconds, I could actually take Kale from full health to zero if I do this this combo. Um, so it's very elaborate. Um, I won't you know I won't spoil it. I'll let you know I didn't get it all done. Um, but it's this is like the amazing thing that I've seen the high level middle players do that has really intrigued me, and it's one of the reasons why I really like Nidalee. Um I also really like her because. Uh, her spears are psychologically damaging and just, instead of just uh, physically damaging to people. Uh, so let's kind of go back and we'll take a look at uh, what happened. Um, not as grand as this, but still you can see what it was I was thinking of when I turned around to dive in on her. All right, so here we go. Um, I see Kale coming through the minion waves, and I actually kind of got a little bit of tunnel vision. Um, I... Uh, saw the missing health I didn't quite look at how many ticks she had so I sort of I sort of assuming that she had less health maybe a few hundred less okay so I turn into a cougar but I don't set up anything which is not the thing I do pounce I do get all the rotation of the cougar spells and do quite a bit of damage actually uh, and do another auto attack and I think I have one more yeah and then I try to do a pounce the pounce is a little tricky though because the pounce just picks you forward um, but I did cause Lee Sin to spaz. Uh, Lee Sin actually flashed uh, to get in there and do that, uh, and to, to do that uh, protective bubble. And then he even missed Kale anyway. So, you know, welcome to the Bronze League. Uh, but it was, uh, I did actually cause him to spaz flash, which is uh, still, that was a, a kind of a win. 
Uh, but you can see that I actually almost killed Kale. And I completely whiffed, like, just about everything. Um, and so if I actually had... Um, if I actually had more practice and I'm mostly I'm playing mostly in Italy so I'll get that practice in but if I actually had more practice and got that um, that combo off then I would have easily uh, killed Kale before she would have killed me because that fight went on for I don't know maybe like six seconds or so uh, and then I probably would have gotten away from Lee Sin and uh, that's pretty much it for this 10 minutes um, there's actually a kind of a cool little kill here uh, right after the 10 minutes are done so I'll kind of watch that but there's a, a scuffle starts in the, the upper river here as Kha'Zix starts causing trouble. Uh, as you can see, Kale is like over double my CS. I mean, it's just she's, I just was, she was working me really, really hard. So Lee Sin and Kha'Zix are fighting in the river. And I was just, I was hoping to get Lee Sin, but I actually did get him. There's that execute, actually. And, uh... I thought, I thought I was going to be chased, um, which is too bad because one spear would have killed her. Uh, she didn't chase. So anyway, um, that's it for this uh, first 10 minutes. You guys can kind of see uh, what it is uh, about Nidalee that makes her a great uh, duelist once she becomes a cat. I mean, until she becomes a cat, uh, she's a little bit uh, gimp unless she can land some, some money spears. Um, but anyway, that's it for this first 10 minutes. And uh, if you like, uh, then please like. If you really like, then please subscribe. Uh, and I will uh, see you all in the rift.